Hey guys, it's the cars. My name's Chip. This is my incredibly talented wife, Kim. And this guy right here is Tonka Boy. Yeah, we're headed on a great uh, road trip today. On to a little place called Allen Cedar Natural Area. It's outside of the Greenwood Furnace State Park, which is outside of... Whoa, well, yeah, which is outside of State College, Pennsylvania. It's a nice little loop trail, probably about 30 minutes. Uh huh. And um, it's known for a huge stand of mountain laurel and some of the biggest old growth hemlock in the state. And then, after we do that, we're going to head to Mifflinburg, PA to the Rusty Rail Brewery Company. It's an old factory that's been renovated. Hey, now, get, get a little carried away. Tonk is about 20 months old, and he is he's full of life, as you can see. Uh, he's a brindle bull mastiff, and he is a full-on boy, all boy. And if you're wondering why he's not driving, it's because he can't quite make it up this far. Um, He's on a bungee cord in a harness, <laughs> in, a, in a harness. So he's rowdy. He is tame, although sometimes he doesn't seem like he's very tame. <laughs> you cannot drive. No. You can't drive. Talking. You can't drive. So I know this looks may look like a hazard, but he is bungeed in. <laughs> but he's so strong. Get back there. Get back there. Give him a chicken heart. Give him a chicken heart. Oh my. Yeah, he eats chicken hearts. That's his favorite treat. Uh, we buy them by the 10 pound bag and dehydrate them. And so, uh, a little bit about us. Uh, we've had bull mastiffs for 20 years. And uh, speaking of Mifflinburg, PA, uh, that exact is actually where we got our first bull mastiff. And um, so, Mifflinburg is kind of special to us. But, uh, so yeah, we're going to do a nice little loop trail, and then we're going to go to dinner. Uh, the Rusty Rail Brewing Company has an outdoor patio. It's a gorgeous day today in Central PA, and um, they are pet friendly. So we're going to, yeah, so, uh, and this guy likes to, he's very mouthy. So we're going to go, we're going to go and get him uh, settled down a little bit, because I, I think he's... Uh, Big camera hand. Mark up. Okay. Just be a little bit. bit uh, more about our channel it's going to be predominantly uh, dog travel channel but uh, we do have an incredible primo uh, cooker it's a smoker it's a grill we're going to be doing a lot of uh, great recipes on the cooker we're going to be doing some woodworking in the channel going to be doing a little turf maintenance. Uh, 
and we may be doing some moto vlogging and we're probably going to be doing some off-roading uh, we have the, uh, the 2021 Bronco Badlands out today that's what we're driving now and uh, one of the reasons I, I bought the Bronco is for Tonka back here as you can see we have the back seats down uh, plenty of room for him uh, he's on a, on a bungee on kind of a zip line so he can get to the uh, either side to look out the window but he can't get the full way up front which would be really really bad um, and so he's on a body harness and a bungee cord specifically designed uh, you know for, for animals to keep them uh, safe I guess as you can keep an animal in a car uh, you certainly can't strap this guy down uh, his crate that we have at the house um, wouldn't fit in the back here so uh, put him in a crate is, is not an option but he settled down now a little bit he loves to go in the car he loves to go in the Bronco loves to go in my pickup truck he just loves to go for rides and um, so yeah so yeah so if you think the things that we're going to do on our channel appeal to you then by all means subscribe we'd love to have you along for the ride uh, we brought the dji mavic 3 drone along today we're going to try to get the drone up i know Tonka loves the drone he's a big hand for the drone aren't you and um he is uh, about 145 pounds, and like I said, about 20 months old. He is not neutered. We do not neuter our males unless we absolutely have to for medical reasons. Um, he, he is really, really a nice dog, and you're going to get to see a lot more of him if you follow along with us. Uh, he's going to try to have him involved in just about everything we do for the channel and it is a gorgeous day headed to Allen Seeger natural area it's a great picnic area hiking area uh, right across the mountain is Greenwood Furnace State Park there's a swimming area there they have a nice, a nice uh, beach area, concessions, there's a campground, there's a, there's a picnic area. We probably won't be going over to Greenwood Furnace today because we want to get down uh, to Mifflinburg for a little lunch. But, uh, it's going to be a full day. So here we are at the Allen Seeger Natural Area. Got a nice little loop trail, uh, picnic areas. We're going to do the loop trail this morning.
absolutely gorgeous morning. It is just before 7.30 a.m. down here. And if you would like to come down and have this, this little loop trail to yourself, I recommend early on a weekday. We're lucky enough to be out here on a Wednesday, early Wednesday morning, so otherwise you'll have to leash your dog. Obviously, if there's a lot of other people around, but so far, so good, not so much. Come on. Good boy, you having fun? Here, boy. Make way. <laughs> Good boy. Say, I know that whistle. I know what that whistle means. Good a woodchucker. Woodchucker's been out of work. Oh, this little runs dry, Tom. Sorry. We'll be some water up here. We'll be some water. We'll get some water. Come on. Sorry. That one's dry.
this trail. This loop intersects another bigger trail, which actually leads to the Mid-State Trail, which is an even bigger trail. But we're going to stay on the loop today. Good boy, come on. I have some water up here, buddy. There you go. Go down and get a drink. There you go. Here, come here. Get a drink. Come on. He's going to drink a lot, probably. We'll just wait for him. Good boy. See, I don't need a bridge. I'm getting into that stand of Mountain laurel that I was telling you about. It's very thick in here. It's a huge stand of mountain laurel. I'm trying to get out in front of you with the fence. The size of that old hemlock. One, go ahead. Let me go.
tree's been around for a while, huh? There's some gnarly old hemlocks in here. Actually, have to duck down to walk, walk through this laurel. It's like a little tunnel. A cool little loop trail. You're good. Here he comes. Good boy. All right, come on. Get some more water. Folks, these bull masses, especially this guy, he takes a lot of water. He loves the water. But these big mastiff breeds, you got to keep them hydrated when you're out hiking them. It's going to be hot today, so it's important that he drinks a lot of water. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? You're inspecting the bridge. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. You hear something here? Right? Looks like a bird. Come on. No. No, he hears something. Good. It's an old tree and fell down. See that? It's been down a long time.
Ouais. Bon. Well, the birds are really singing this morning, aren't they? Come on, Tonka. I'm pretty sure if you take the Greenwood Spur, 
Trail. That takes you up over the mountain to Greenwood Furnace State Park. But we're just doing the loop trail today. Want to go check out the picnic area, Tonka? Come on. So they have some pavilions down here scattered throughout the area. They have park grills. Right along the creek here. It's all first come, first served down here. No reservations. Would you find some leftovers? Huh? I hope not. What do you got? Pine cone. There's a koozie. And a beer can. No alcohol permitted, folks. This is a state, state area. <laughs> we use a pavilion down the road a little ways. When we come to picnic, we're not picnicking today, but this is a great area to picnic. Tonka, you want to get in the water a little bit? Here's the beach. You want to go to the beach? Tonka, look. You getting in? Yeah. Get in. Go on. That swimming hole is just your size, Tonka. So folks, you can see why we really like it down here. It's just a really, really nice little area outside of State College. It takes us about an hour and 45 minutes to get here from our home. And it's a great spot. Typically pretty quiet. Okay, go. Let's go, Tom. Come on. Good boy. Atta boy. Take it off.
See that little trail? I wonder where that goes. Probably down to the creek. Here, Tonka. Here, boy. Look. No, nah, I think we're good, Tom. We're good. We're good on that one. I didn't bring the machete. And that's it for the Allen Seeger Loop Trail. What do you think, Kim? Yeah? Tonka, what did you think of the Allen Seeger Loop Trail? Isn't that a neat little trail? Okay, folks. Thanks for coming along with us. We'll see you next time. So we're here at the Rusty Rail Brewing Company in Mifflinburg, PA. Got here a few minutes ago. Um, beautiful day here in Mifflinburg. This is an old factory of some type. I, I don't, it might have been an old buggy once, for all I know. Uh, Mifflinburg is also the home of uh, the Pennsylvania Buggy Museum. So maybe this was a buggy factory, I don't know. Maybe I should have done my research. You can look it up, um, but they make great beer. Uh, my wife Kim and Tonka are already on the patio. We got a great little spot on the patio. Like I said, it's dog friendly. And if, there he is. Yeah, he must see me. So we'll get in there and uh, see what's up. Tonka, easy. This is a cool place, folks. If you're in the area and you have a dog and you're thirsty and you're hungry, like go right ahead. Stop Why in. Thank you, partner. Big and ornery. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me reel you back in. Sorry, folks. Thank you. Yeah, he's kind of big. He's kind of big. Which one's the boss? Well, I think we both fight for that a little bit. I had a dog like that. <laughs> so you know what I mean. Yeah. Where's the treat? Oh, I have them on me.
how'd they get back there? Put them up there. So easier access to them down here. There you go. There you go. So we ordered a couple of burgers and one for Tonka too. So Yeah. What did we order? Um, I got a Monte Cristo and you got a what a night. That's a burger. It's a burger. Yeah. And you got a Monte Cristo. And we're not going to bore you with showing you and reading you a menu. If you want to know what the menu is, why, go online, check it out before you come. But uh, so we kind of we kind of look for places that allow us to bring um, this guy. He's a handful. He's a good boy. He's just he's big. He's loud. He's strong. And you really have to. He's friendly. He loves people, but you just can't. You just can't let him do what he wants to do, my God. We'd get thrown out in a second. <laughs> they wouldn't let us in the they, they wouldn't let us in the parking lot. So this is life with a bull mastiff. Um, they're awesome, that's an awesome breed. And they love going with you places. But you better be prepared. And I'm not saying that we're one hundred percent prepared. There's yeah. always <laughs> always seems to be something that we forget or curve. yeah there's a, <laughs> and this guy's is uh like i said he's our third bull mastiff and well he's different he's he's just a little different than the other than the other two so there's the rest of the patio So the food just came out. Look at that Monte Cristo. Oh my God. Can I trade you? Can we split that? <laughs> sure. There's my burger. It's, it was supposed to, burger. my burger was supposed to have egg on it, but I wasn't in the mood for egg. I already had eggs today. There's Tonka's burger. Yeah. I'm going to steal those hash browns. So that Monte Cristo is insane. You need to catch him. You need to catch him. Okay. Hey, we're going to have the burger. Mm. Kim, how's that Monte Cristo? It's good. It's got a uh, French toast flair. Mm. You're going to have to save me some of that. That looks really good. Tonk is enjoying his meal. He'd eat it all at once if I let him. My burger's good. It's nice. It's well done. I mean, it's done the way I like it. And uh, it's nice and fresh. So, what a beautiful day out here. And he's behaving about as, as well as we could expect. Let's go see mom. Hi. I'm sitting in the sun. I'm sitting in the sun. Whoa. Hey. What kind of dog is this? He's a bull mastiff. Oh, I just put a mastiff down. Uh, so no, buddy. Hello. No. Yes. Stay He's down. Stay down, Dad. Stay down. Stay down. Come on. Yes, you guys are strong. Oh my God! I just bought a nut. He's a workout. One. Yes, mine's 109 pounds right now. He's just oh, turning a year old. Oh my! But yes, look at him. Isn't he cute? You are so precious. I know. He's all right. He's all right. I know you don't want him jumping, but he's all right. So cute he is. You are, buddy. So strong. They are, aren't they? They are. Oh. Uh, Full of life. He's, yeah. he's 20 months. He's oh, almost two. Yeah, he's 145. Oh, I just love him. Look yeah. at him. Hey, buddy. Hello. Get another one. I need another one. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. I see you. I see. I don't know. I haven't changed my tie. He's freaking huge. He's awesome. Thank he's you awesome. so much. Thank you. I'm rolling this way just to touch. Mm -hmm. See you, folks. Yes, see you. See you.
Tonk and come here. Here, boy. Did you have fun today? Did you have a good time? Did you go for a nice night? You got a, you got your own hamburger at the Rusty Rail Brewing Company. Tonka had a good day. Kim, did you have a good day? How did you like your food at the Rusty Rail Brewing? The beer was good too, huh? Good. They make awesome beer there. We got the top open on the Bronco, and uh, it's. Turned out to be a fantastic day. You ready to get home, Tom? Huh? Ready to get home? No? I don't think so. Maybe we'll stop for ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I'm full. No. That was a good day trip. Alan Seeger National Area. Rusty Railroad Company.